We now determine the coordinates of a point which makes an angle of 245 degree on a circle of radius 20 units. So here I have drawn the circle of radius 20 units and I have also indicated the angle uh, 245 degree and this is the point P. So using this point P we construct a right triangle that is we construct the right triangle OAP where angle PAO is the right triangle and uh, notice that this 245 degree is basically the sum of 180 degree plus 65 degree. So I have also shown that on this uh, right triangle. So in place of finding uh, 245 degree, we can consider that this is uh, becoming a reference angle. So we can utilize this reference angle to determine the coordinates X and Y. So I'm now going to use uh, Soka Tova in uh, the right triangle OAP. So let's consider the right triangle OAP. And I'm going to first find uh, sine of 65. Uh, this is sine of 65. This equals uh, opposite by adjacent. That is opposite to 65 degree is uh, AP, which is uh, negative Y, divided by uh, hypotenuse is OP. So we can replace uh, OP. That is, this becomes negative Y over uh, OP is basically the radius of the circle, which is uh, 20 units. Now let's solve for uh, y from this equation. So we have a uh, sine of 65 degree and this equals a uh, negative y over 20. So we multiply both sides by 20. So this means we get a negative y equals a uh, 20 times of sine of 65. So therefore we divide both sides by uh, negative 1 which gives us the positive value of y and this becomes a uh, negative of 20 times of sine of 65 degree. So we can plug this into the calculator and when we do that we get the value of y as negative 18.126. We now find the cos of 65 degree to determine the value of x. So I'm going to write uh, cos 65 and uh, this equals uh, according to Sokotova this is adjacent side to 65 degree, that is uh, negative x, divided by the hypotenuse, which is uh, OP. Uh, OP is 20, so I substitute uh, 20 here. Now we can determine x from this equation. So first we multiply uh, both sides by 20, so we get uh, negative x equals uh, 20 times of cos of 65 degree. And uh, we divide both sides by negative 1, and this gives x equals uh, negative 20 times of cos of 65 degree. So we plug this into the calculator and when we do that we get the value of x as a negative of 8.452. So we found the values of x and y as uh, negative 8.452 for x and for y we got the value as negative 18.126. So therefore the coordinate uh, x comma y of the point P is uh, we put the x first at this uh, negative 8.452 comma negative 18.126. So this is the coordinate of the given point.